the leader of the MBC, Douglas Monzora, has attacked the Welshman Gibled Citizen Coalition for Change CCC and its members of parliament for supporting President Emerson Umingagwa's third-term plans. Chamisa left the contaminated CCC early this year after ZANU-PF implants frustrated him. Mwanzora in Bulawayo at the weekend told reporters that Omingabwa's recent assertion that he will not seek a third term and will retire at the end of his second and final term in 2028 was a lie. He alleged that the CCC lawmakers have tacitly approved Omingabwa's purported plans to remain in power beyond the constitutionally mandated two-term limit, said Mwanzora. The president's party, ZANU-PF, is talking about his presidential term ending in 2030. We know they want to extend the term of office by another term, but their ZANU-PF lawyers are aware that extending a term may be difficult so they want to extend the presidential term to say it is not five years but now seven years. Most of their leaders are in agreement. This is selling out Zimbabwe's constitution and the people and is selfish because these MPs want to stay in parliament for as long as possible. Others have left their political parties to form another party, abandon it, form another one and the people who are running this project are former officers from the border Gezi masquerading as the opposition. They are busy taking the opposition for the ride. Mwanzora substantiated his claims that CCC is heavily compromised by citing circumstantial evidence that he said. There is a legal phrase residential ipsa loquitur meaning facts speak for themselves. Don't you see they are compromised? Don't you see they have a given Emerson Umingagwa two-thirds majority? Don't you see the leader of the CCC was quiet when the recalls were done? Right now CCC and Parliament have not spoken against the third term. I dare them to speak against the third term. Mwanzora acknowledged that during his tenure as the leader of the opposition in Parliament, he would occasionally meet with the Mingagwa and never made a secret of it. In contrast to the CCC leaders who have reportedly been hosted at lavish banquets at State House, he said, I would go to meet him as leader of the opposition but never, never did President Umingagwa or his wife throw a party for me. President Umingagwa's wife threw a party for the CCC MPs in the State House. What more evidence do we require? Our brothers and sisters have been compromised and are supporting the third term supporting the extension of the term of President Umingagwa. They have not spoken against the third term. They have actually agreed that Umingagwa must extend his term. Let them come out and deny it. They have not denounced it. However, Mwanzora's allegations against the CCC appear to be a case of the pot calling the kettle black, as he himself previously supported a constitutional amendment while he was the leader of the opposition in parliament. In 2021, Mwanzora defended MDC lawmakers for joining ZANU-PF MPs in supporting a constitutional amendment that removed the requirement for a presidential running mate, extended the women's quota, and removed the 70-year retirement age cap for judges.